Good, Good morning. morning. Oh shit, you didn't block out your hat. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we're here today doing legs. Uh, we're going to be crushing uh, a pretty heavy leg day. Austin's been wanting to do some squats and oh, yeah. deadlifts for a while, so we're going to uh, uh, switch over to barbell squats. And I've been wanting to do them now for a couple weeks. My program doesn't have me doing any barbell movements right now, which is very unusual for me. Um, so I've been throwing them in, uh, sprinkling them in here and there. And today we're going to smash some barbell squats, some back squats, and then uh, some, some deadlifts, as well as some accessory exercises. So we're going to start with some hamstring curls right here before we get over to our squats. Get everything nice and warmed up and lubed up, and then get right after it. We'll see you there. Let's do it. So we're going to be warming up with basically no weight. Yeah. So in 2018, apparently I could do 260 pounds. Oh yeah? Apparently. By 2018? In 2018. Oh. Oh, it's weird with no weight on it. Yeah. There's nothing on there right now, so. It's a good range. Whew. It just feels weird. It, it, it needs to be. goes all the way up. And yeah, then... yeah, hold on. It needs to be lower here. Hold on. That's right. Yeah. That's better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Once we get weight on there, it'll be much Good. better. So the rubber band helps with the resistance curve. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with gravity and just pushing out kind of at the beginning here. So we have the band in there. Let me make sure this still works for me. It does. Oh yeah, the band does help. Yeah, it's it's very subtle, but it really just helps that resistance curve, especially at the bottom of the movement and at the, at the very very tippy top. Yeah, that, that's where it's like it starts to shift the weight off. Yep. And it's like that band's holding it there. Exactly. Like right there. Yep. We're gonna do a set of tens and twelve here, so we'll Ten. find your weight. I know where I need to be, but we'll figure out where you need to be too. Tens and twelve. Okay. How much we have right now? Uh, 20, 30, 40. Okay. Um, now my viewers know that I love starting leg days off with these, but I haven't been able to do a squat day with them in a minute. Regardless, I like to start my leg days off with hamstring curls to really warm up the knees, warm up the quads and hamstrings a little bit. You're not really warming up your quads, but the blood's flowing into your legs. You're getting everything moving and grooving. And it's a workout while also being an active stretch. So we're, we're actively working the muscle, slowly ramping up the weight. That's why I take these nice and slow to warm up with regards to loading the weight on there. And then we'll move on to our squats and be nice and primed. Fifty-five. Yeah, uh, this will be sixty. Okay. <laughs> 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 Good. Good. It's 
seems like it's still pretty light light for you. Yeah, I mean, is it? This, I got legs, man. Yeah, well, there's plenty of weight over there, so. Okay. Do more. Serve yourself. This is too light. I might have you add one more. Yep. This will be 70. No, that's good. Good? All right. Good. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just one more. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Nice. Yeah. That's the that's Good. the level. Good. Oh. oh. <laughs> Slide one of those tens off. One of the tens. Yeah. Again. Or whatever's on the end there. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> You got it? Yeah. That's, that's it. Okay. Woo! All right, 12 more. Ooh, wait to roll it. Yeah, don't throw it. Mm hmm. Yep, yep, come on. Come on, there you go. One more. There you go. Nope, I got two more. All right. Yep. Oh, fuck. One more. Come on, come on, come on. One more. Good. Good. What do you mean he couldn't walk after this? <laughs> I, just, I love leg days. <laughs> Big fan. They're not my favorite days, but I enjoy uh, the feeling afterwards on leg days. Yeah. It's Honestly, a, I hate doing them at the at the gym uh -huh. because everybody's always fucking blocking all the different things that I need. Like the squat racks? Squat racks, um, people on the leg press machine, fucking, they, they must be twittering or something. Twittering? Twittering. Faffing about they're, on their phone. They're twittering, they're Xing, they're Instagramming. It's just like, get out of my way. Come on, bro. Barbell squats. Yeah. I changed my shoes. <sighs> You're gonna, you're definitely yeah. gonna take those off. I'm gonna take them off? Yeah. Too oh God. Way too squishy. You're squishy. We don't want squishy shoes when we're squatting. It changes our center of gravity, moves our balance all over the place. It just takes the effort and focus away from where it needs to be, which is on the squat. All right, so I'll bring my, my Crocs next time. Yeah, I mean, up <laughs> honestly, there's worse shoes to squat in for sure. Now, now your other nobles are fine, like the ones I have over there. Yeah. Those are perfectly fine. Okay. They're pretty flat. You don't need any special fancy shoes. Like if I can do 40, uh, uh, excuse me, 450 on the hack squats, I'm sure I can do close to 300 once I get the stability piece figured out. Well, you don't you don't realize how much stability you have on that machine, how much it's helping you. Oh, I, I know. That's what I'm saying. If you I can't can do, do 450. If you can do 225 for 10, I'll be very surprised. Okay. I'm not saying you can't. No, I'm, I'm going to be surprised with we'll good see. form, safe form too. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to yep. start at zero to warm up. Sure. And then go from there. Oh, we feel great. Yeah, that's fine. Lower. Open your feet up. Open wider. Yep. Okay, I want you to keep your back more neutral. Yeah. So is it not to, neutral? Yeah. So I want you. Your, your hips. So this is what you're doing. Your, your hips are out. So when you squat down, you got this curve here. 
Okay. It's called a hyperextension. Yep. That's what's going to compress your disc. I want you to, when you're standing like this, I want you to yeah. pull your hips forward, like clench your butt. Uh, nope, I'm still doing it. When you're standing up. There you go, right there. Yep. Now squat. Yeah, I'm but still not, doing But it, don't right. be afraid to lean forward. You're going to yeah. lean forward. That's it. That's so much better already. Lower. Can you get lower? I mean, that, that's it's pretty lower. much on my hips that's right all, there. All of it? Yeah. I mean, you got, you got some flexibility you got to work on. <laughs> oh, I knew that. That was never a, a question. I want the bar to come down a little bit more too, like right about there. Okay. It's on your neck otherwise. Yeah. I feel like my hands are wide, but. You can, I mean, wherever they need to be. If your shoulders are tight, that's where they're gonna end up. Some guys are even wider than that. So they have really, really bad shoulder mobility. I mean, I can come in, it just, it's more comfortable here. That's fine. Yeah, that's shoulder mobility. Again, another thing to work on. All right, whenever you're ready. So I can do at least 45 pounds. At least. You need me to spot you? No, I'm pretty good. Figured. So on my neck there. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Yeah, it should be on your traps. So that's where it's at right now. How many am I doing? We're aiming for 10. All right, you gotta open your feet up more. Keep going. <laughs> yep. Now do it. Oh, uh, nope. I feel like I'm sliding. All right, come back in. Yep, right there. The back looks good. One more. Yeah, you got some tight fucking hamstrings. Which is crazy, you did pretty good on these hamstring curls. I don't know, I got a lot in here. Can you touch your toes? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> huh. Okay. You remember the uh, national fitness challenges or whatever? Yeah. I would have been national level every year except for the, the sit and reach. Yeah. That was the thing that stopped me. Poor Otherwise, kid. I'd be a champion. Couldn't read, couldn't tie his <laughs> shoes. Not for lack of effort. Just couldn't reach. <laughs> Tried to hold me back in the fifth grade too. That didn't work. Nope. Sorry, that is a rank one. I, I apologize for that. Oh boy. Oh my <sighs> lord. Sounds like my son of shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. I warned you before. I know. I was talking about this the other day on the, one of the vlogs. Now, leg days, if you're not doing your cardio, <clears throat> we'll find out on your leg days. But even when you are, squats are such a huge cardiovascular endurance effort. Yeah. When you think about the size of the muscle being worked, and it's one of the largest muscle groups on the body. I remember I used to do, I used to do um, German volume training. I've done it numerous times. German volume training, that was when you do 10 sets of 10 for all of your, your working sets. Oh my God. Bench, all, you know, all the other exercises, it doesn't even matter. You get the squats though. <laughs> oh my God. I was literally posting online like, Seeking advice, I'm like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> like, why can't I finish 10 sets? By this fifth set, I am so exhausted. 
And the only answer was just to take longer rests. For all the other stuff, it was like two minutes tops. I was going to say, I think uh, on on uh, Nippert's program, it's three to four minutes. Depends, yeah, depending on what you're doing. and yeah. I mean, you get a feel for what you need in that moment. When you're doing mostly hypertrophy, you know, a minute to two minutes is ideal, usually. <clears throat> but with these full body exercises like this, it's not real full body, but when you're doing a big movement like this, needing a couple extra minutes is not uncommon. Yeah, you just need to start squatting and get better at the movement itself. Yeah. That's really all it is at this moment for you. Well, it's I, not even about the weight. Yeah. I don't even know that uh, when I did, I said I did them in 2018. Yeah. I'm not sure that I actually did free form ones. I, I would bet you that I did it on just the hack squats and... Good, back's looking a lot better. Yeah, your back's nice now. Now it's just a matter of getting deeper. Check your knees. Don't let those knees come in. I'm pushed out. There you go, that's much better. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You can see it sinking when you sit in it. Yeah, your body's just not used to that. Yeah. I literally saw it come down like two inches when you sat there. Yeah. Okay, here we Measurably deeper than you were at the beginning. It is definitely a warm up and stretching thing for you. You can get there. And I got one more trick on my sleeve we're gonna try on this last step for you too. So another trick we can do with the squats You'll see people put like a five pound plate under their heels. And that's yeah. what these shoes do. They have an elevated heel. So I have some wedges and we're gonna put them here for you to step back up onto. And they'll literally raise your heels up. Okay. And that should give you a little bit more uh, ankle mobility, <clears throat> which may allow you to get a little bit deeper too. Two more. You got one more. Pussy. There it is. Good job. Good job. I'm going to be behind you to help stabilize you onto them. So you don't fall off. I'm going to back them up more. Hold on. Yeah. So like that. Yeah, yeah just like that. There. That's better. Okay, come on. Where is it? Right there. On. There you go. All right, now go on. Let's see. Oh, immediately. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely doing something for you. You're getting lower overall. 
That's good. That's really fucking good. Keep going. Oh, you're like right at fucking parallel. You're fucking kissing it. Knocking on its fucking door. Yeah, that's it. That's fucking it. That last set was, that last rep was beautiful. Perfect. Yeah, so you just need to keep barbell squatting. Keep working on that. Yeah. You, from that first one to the last one, I think you probably got six inches deeper almost. I'm sure, I'm sure. Good. Very good. How many are we doing? Uh, eight. I'm gonna work up to eight. Your form looks very good. Besides me hitting my knee. That's normal. I like to throw my belt on. Almost always right around two plates. Some people say you shouldn't use a belt at all until you get up heavy in those weights, but I like to practice how you play. So once I get a little bit of warm up going with no belt, I don't need a belt for these little, very low weights. I feel like if you're going to use a belt, it's good to practice it the way you're going to actually fucking do it because the movement isn't going to be that much different, but the feel is going to be totally different. Yeah. Well, as you know, I use a belt every time I put jeans on, <laughs> I had a... whether I need it or not. I had a coworker that used to say the worst day is the day you forget your belt. And he had forgot his belt at home that day. Same guy also used to go to the bathroom and take his belt off in the public restroom. <laughs> you would literally take a belt off, put it on the counter, and go take a shit. Yeah, I'm like, bro. I a guy that would slam over the fucking door stall, the door to his stall. That's same I feel league. Like it's worse. Same league, but that's like amateur <laughs> stuff. No, putting it on the, the countertop is way worse. But I, you're, you're like. You're you're taking your belt off and then putting it in the danger zone for falling. All kinds of problems can result. That's true. I'll be right back. While BJ isn't listening until he edits, I think he's a little scared that my legs are going to be stronger than his as soon as I figure this shit out. Poor guy doesn't know what he's competing against. All right. Let's utterly fail some deadlifts here. There we go. My grip is honestly the weakest part right now. Oh, I see BJ picked off or took off his poop mic. It's not very cash money of him. All right. I don't feel like I need my straps right now, but I haven't deadlifted in a while, and I really just want to focus on the movement, not my grip. Me too. I'm only doing two more sets of these, so we're, we're doing just two more. To... Shit. Huh? So we're doing two more? Yeah, two more. Yeah. Oh. One more for you. You just did one, didn't you? This song still fucks. Good job. Nice. Uh. Nice done. Great job, B. Great job. I need to get back to deadlifting. That was really tough. Let me show you how it's done without a belt. <sighs> yeah, that wouldn't happen. Let me take the big boy plates off. <sighs> While you were busting your guts all over the bathroom floor, I was telling the people, uh, the people's people, that my grip is definitely like where I feel the weakest here. I need to practice it. Like I said, it's just, it's one of those things that I've not really done it that much. I mean, 
How many times have I done deadlifts? Six. Yeah, and it's that grip strength. Are you doing both yeah. underhand or are you doing yeah, a mixed grip? Both underhand. No, I'm not doing a flip. Try the mixed grip. Which does it matter which no, way? Whichever one feels better for you. It'll give you a little bit more. Um, my philosophy on this stuff is like when you, it's it's good to have a baseline for things like grip strength, mm -hmm. and you want to be able to like pick up and lift. It's two twenty five. Like you should be able to yeah, do that. Yeah, that's, that's what but, I mean. Is like I don't need them. Yeah. But I, at the end, especially if I'm doing three or four sets, that's the key right there. It's, I get to the end, and that, that yep. last one, the last time I did, it, I did two seventy five. Yeah. My last one, my fingers were like all the way out yep. stretch. You're like. Barely holding on. That's how I like to apply the grips usually, is I want to start without them normally. Yeah. And then second, third, fourth, whatever set, bust them out when add I'm like, add them on. grip's going to fail, but I want to complete the exercise. Sure. Good. There you go. Good form, good ROM. Don't bring the head up. Look forward. It's that grip. The only thing you're doing, the only thing you gotta stop doing is this. Head up. Okay. You gotta just neutral gaze forward. Okay. Don't don't crane your neck up. Don't try to look yourself in the mirror. Just be looking forward the whole time. Don't because when you're doing this, you're cutting off your blood flow. Sure. You're getting less oxygen. I really like, like the lightheaded feeling though. Oh well, I don't want you passing out. Not in my gym. Maybe at Munch Fitness, but not here. It was funny. Like I finished the exercise. There's 10 seconds of like, no, that was, that was all right. Yeah. Then my body's like, fuck you. Yeah. Then it, then it hits. Yeah. And you're like, oh, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> yep. The, the first time I did 225, um, I did it and I started taking the weights off too quickly. Yeah. I got the first 45 off and it was like, nope, nope, put it, put it back on. Yep. Sit still for a second. Yeah. The stars are aligning, huh? It's like, I'm like, nope, nope, wait. You're, you're starting to feel less you for just a second slipping off into the fourth dimension. <laughs> yeah. Just like before you do that, put the heavy thing down yeah. real quick. All right, and you know, gonna... it was only like maybe five seconds of like heavy breathing, get back into your flow. It's like, okay, I'm fine again. But that, that five seconds of, oh fuck. All right, I'm gonna go, uh, my PR on this is 450 and I'm not ready to do that right now, especially on a cut. Especially, I should give an update on that, I guess. So cut's going pretty well uh, for me. Um, my first week of the cut, normally I see an accelerated r rate of weight loss, no matter how accurate of tracking I've been doing prior to that. That first week for me, I feel like I just end up shedding a little bit more than that two pound mark that I'm generally aiming for when I'm doing a more aggressive cut like this. So, um, I'm used to seeing three, maybe even four to four and a half pounds in, in a couple of these cuts in that first week or two, uh, first week to two weeks each. Uh, this week, as of yesterday, I was down nearly seven pounds. So um, I had been saying that I, th I thought my calculation was quite a bit off at about 2,000 calories a day. I certainly think it was. So I ate about 700 extra calories last night, um, almost entirely of goldfish. And uh, I feel pretty damn good this morning. Still ended up losing about half a pound overall yesterday. So we're going to keep that up today. I'll probably eat... Another five to 700 calories in excess today. See what happens tomorrow as I weigh in. Um, but because of all of that, I don't want to go too, too, too crazy heavy on these deadlifts. Um, my body's definitely still weak and recovering, weaker and, and not full of energy like it usually is. So I'm going to hit 400, I think, on this deadlift just for how, basically however many reps I can hit with it. Um, we'll see. Um, maybe four or five would be great if I could do that. But Austin, why don't you give an update on, on your cut? Well, obviously, because of all the other cuts I've done in the past, my journey's been slightly different this week, trying to figure out more how to do it effectively. First, I don't know if it was two or three days. First two or three days, hadn't gone to the grocery yet, and so there was some uh, some adjustments to be made. But you know, the last, what, two, two days? I've been within 100 calories, within single digits of all my macro goals, and uh, my, my scale weight, I think, is the same as it was Monday. But, um, you know, I, I've been trending down this entire time anyway. So I think uh, I'm, I'm getting to that point where weight's starting to come again. Back under uh, 242 or 243 again, which was kind of where I started. But, um, you know, I had some ups and downs there. Mm. I think uh, this coming week is where it's going to start clicking really well. I've got the uh, the 
nutrients in, in line. We've got the workouts in line. And now it should hopefully start kicking down like it like I want it to. So we'll we'll see how that turns out. Awesome. Isn't it fun being an influencer? I mean, <laughs> I don't want to brag or anything, but I think there are a lot of chubby, tall, handsome men <laughs> that need a role model like me right. in their life to really bring them down and remind we, them that they're not as good as me. Are we allowed to say chubby? When I when I say it about myself, I can. Oh, okay. You are referring yeah. to yourself in that yeah. sense. Yeah, self-referential. All right, I got lazy. I'm going for 450 instead of 405, which is probably dumb, but whatever. Hey, you know what, gym people? I need suggestions on better music because I can't get the music I need. You need spot? Is there even a spot for deadlifts? Make sure I don't fall on my face if I pass out. That's it. Okay. <laughs> no, I'll, be, I'll be all right. If, you, if no. you fall that way, it's not pretty. No, it's not. Nice. that. One. Is that all you got? It's a lot. I'm going for two. Two. You got three. You got a third one in you. I know. You don't have it? No. Nope. You look like you got it. You're right there. Good job, though. Where's the weak point? Uh, I just couldn't keep my back tight enough. Yeah. Okay. Which is not surprising considering we just did squat. That's why I don't generally do squats and deadlifts on the y same yeah, day. Yeah, you're, you're double working. Yeah. Same muscle group. Normally, when I squat, especially for hypertrophy, I'm doing squats or whatever leg exercise. And then some kind of like RDL or stiff leg deadlift, <coughs> single leg dumbbell deadlift, things that are not for weight. No, normally though, I don't generally squat and deadlift on the same day. And if I do, the deadlifts are definitely, whatever second is going to be more for reps. But regardless of so what the structure is. 25, 25, 25. Yeah. Whatever the structure uh, is. That's not 30. Okay. Hang yeah. on. I thought you picked a 35. No, different plates. It's like I'm not that good. I know. I mean, I could be, but I'm not yet. <laughs> I want to do 300. Well, why don't you start, try with this one first? Yeah. 275. I know I can do this, so that's the thing. It's all right. I mean, you're going to do it. I'll throw it on there. No, no. We'll, we'll do this. This is going to be tiring enough. It's, it's fine. I know it's I irrational, but I have a problem where I'm lined up on the bar, which is all that really matters, right? But I'm not lined up on the cable. Yeah. That's not related to this I exercise know. at all. Yeah. And it throws me off. Yeah, the thing you're not using, not yeah, important. Not, not important at all, but I do it every time. Hey, you're like two and a half feet forward from the light bulb over I, there, but not this see, one. So long, I've, got, I've out? got blinders. I can't see it. I'm okay, but like the cable, I can see. Grip? Yeah. Use these. If you ever feel stupid in the gym, yeah. it's because you're working out with BJ. Sorry. And you're like, oh, is, yeah. Is this a complex movement? Adam Clark would probably, like, brain fart. Adam, Adam would have an aneurysm. <laughs> she had a kidney stone. What is a strap? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Hey, you Yeah, my grip was just gone on that last one. That's not surprising. I mean, that's exactly what I'm talking about, though. Like, that's that's literally the point that I would definitely be breaking out my grips. Yeah. At the at the very least, if not sooner, you know. Especially on on deadlift. I mean, on a lot of movements, that can become a distracting factor to the point that you can't complete the lift. At well, least to the maximum I mean, that you want. That's absolutely what's happening. Because like I, I could definitely lift that still, but yeah, it was it was more mental than anything. Yep. Too much for today. What? It's not like we did any heavy lifting at all. <laughs> oh, they get some chance. Now, when you got this machine, did you pay for the dog hair, or? 
No, I personally charge extra for that. It's much better. It's funny how much like switching between different like it's the same machine quote yeah. unquote but like a different machine yeah because like i'm doing 200 on the crunch fit or big fitness well you gotta remember they're usually cable machines i'm yeah. assuming and those usually have pulleys yeah so that, there's a ratio mm -hmm. more than likely and that's on that saying, it's is, more than likely a two to one ratio yeah um that's what i mean it's like you you switch from one type of a machine to a slightly different version it's like the weight is completely different Good. One more. Yeah. Did we find an area I can compete with you on? Isn't it cool? <laughs> I'll fucking pass out before I let you beat me on these things. <laughs> Oop. There you go. There you go. Yep. There you go. All right, let's try this. This isn't gonna work at all, I can tell already. Yeah. But I, uh, it'll hold me down for sure. It'll probably just be really uncomfortable. Oh yeah, oh, that's so much better. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna buy a cheap belt. Okay. <laughs> a real like padded one. Good job. Oh yeah, wait. That's what my problem is this time. <laughs> you know that thing we already talked about? Yeah, yeah. I did 2.5 more pounds than you. Oh boy. Put it in the books! We're gonna find out our single leg, our leg press single max is. Is that what leg we're Leg extensions are. I don't know, is that what we're about to do? I don't know, is that where we're headed? Gonna max out the leg press? <laughs> Push this back. Leg extension, why do I keep calling it leg press? I'm trying to max out here. <laughs> and you're com- you're, How did BJ You die? are committing acts against the <laughs> this UN is convention. <laughs> Geneva is thermal not gonna be happy about Thermal this. warfare. So I gotta do more than three. That's it. Or up the weight. <laughs> I just gotta beat you. You just do four. I'll just keep up in the weight. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. We're gonna go do some. Woo! <laughs> Write it down, people. All right, not anymore. Never mind. Fuck it. We're doing more. See that, guys? One, two, three. In six months, you can scare a guy that's been working out for years. If you steal all his eff uh, effort and all the skills that he's teaching you, that's all it takes to beat him. What are we at now? I don't even know. <laughs> 50, 60, 75, 95. Those are 25, 50, right? 100. 150. 
170. 170. What the I was fuck gonna was say. that counting? I was like, that's <laughs> not right. I knew it said I said it. I was like, that's not right. <laughs> we went from 130 to uh, 90. 90. <laughs> Kilos. That'll get him. <laughs> Kilos. We switched mid-workout to the metric system. Uh. Oh, my God. All right, I don't want to... I got to do three. Injure anybody. Yeah, full extension, though. That's the thing. I'm not afraid. Uh, uh. Man, you're using a lot of fucking momentum there. There you go. That's tough. All right. We're not going to injure ourselves on all like extension. You got That's it. seven! I'll let you have it. <laughs> Calf races. I'm scared, boys. Yeah. Terrified. Bring your toes back. Yeah. Bring them back more. If you can. There you go. This feels so different than the other machine I've been on too. Really? Yeah. Huh. I I feel like it that might be is it is it looser than it should be? No. no? I mean a little bit. <laughs> He's gonna tighten the bolts. Don't worry, we'll get there any minute now. One more? Two more. Two more. The hams, they're feeling it. <laughs> Woo! You got some long femurs, boy. Yeah, I do. You know, it's getting to be close to time when you're running out of water. It's yep. a good workout. This was a good one. Oh boy, that's it. Okay. All right. Well, we're got down, another leg day down. Casual Saturday. I thought it was Sunday for half a second. No. Jeez, my days are all mixed Saturday. up. Saturday morning lift, leg day. Um, did a lot. We did. Um, we started with hamstring curls, squats, then deadlifts, leg extensions that we over competed ourselves on, and then some calf raises. Who, who won the competition? Just you did. Yeah, yeah, you can have that one. I'll let you have it today. The leg extension max effort now, that I threw in the towel for. Every other exercise, though. <laughs> but. <laughs> I got uh, my one in. Uh, good way to end the week. And almost end the week. Um, we're both one week into this cut now. And uh, we're going to start, if we're not already, feeling the effects of that as these calories start getting dialed in. I seem to be on the one end of the spectrum. Austin seems to perhaps be a little bit over on the other side of the spectrum. But yep. we're both meeting towards the middle where our bodies need to be. 
Tips are touching. Tips are nearly touching. And for that, and next time, and some more tips, tune in next time. See you then. Bye, guys. <sighs> good job. Good work.